Hi, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Tag Pros Education. This afternoon, I have the pleasure of being one of your presenters for the Women of STEAM. My workshop will be about augmented reality. For those of you that are not familiar, augmented reality is an enhanced version of the real physical world. It is achieved through the use of digital visual, auditory, and sensory stimuli that can be delivered through technology. And these technologies can be the use of an iPad or the use of a mobile device. Augmented reality is very common. It is widely used in many of our social media apps, like filters. So if you're the type to like to change the color of your hair or to enhance your facial features, or maybe play around with the dancing Shrek through your camera, these are simple examples of augmented reality. In today's workshop, the goal will be how to create or render your own augmented reality experience with a favorite app of mine that is called iJack. So if you would like to later on see some of these images that I've created in my class, you can download the app. I'll put a picture right here. That's how it looks like on the Play Store or the App Store. You could also download it directly from the website iJackApp.com. Later on, I will also be showing you how you can recreate what I've done in my class through the iJack Creator. And that's just as simple as downloading the program onto your desktop and bringing in assets. It's going to be really exciting. iJack is basically an AR viewer. The app allows you to scan images and triggers the AR that is overlaid on each image. If you go on the website, you can easily use the app that you've downloaded. If you downloaded it earlier, scan the QR codes and then look at the specific image that it's related to and you'll see how it brings life into the images. So over here, you will see some of the images, some of the drawings that my students have made. And right beside it will be a QR code that I've used to allow you to render or to see the AR animation on top of it. So what we are going to do is we are going to open the iJack app. Now, if you've downloaded the iJack app earlier, um, you can also check out and scan the screen. I'll be putting the, the code and the picture right here so you can scan the screen and see the image for yourself and experience it. But I'll also be walking you through it. So I'm right now opening the iJack app and you can see what the iJack app looks like you would want to tap on the icon on the lower left hand side, which it looks like a, a thumbprint, which opens up the camera. After opening the camera, you can now scan the code and then you will see that there's a loading sign. Again, I just wanna make sure that this is clear. It will only be able to download the images if you are connected to the internet. So if you're not, unfortunately, you will not be able to see the, the animation. After this, you can now scan and simply point your camera or point the AR app towards the image that you would like to see the animations of. So I'm gonna do it right now, there. As you can see, you can see also here an example, a clear example on my phone of what it looks like when I scan the image. Now you will, the image will actually stick onto the, or the animation actually sticks onto the art so if there's a specific angle that it can't anymore identify the artwork, the image will stop. But it will follow along even if you move your device. And if you move closer, you'll get to see a closer representation as well of the animations. So let's try it with another piece of art. And here is an example. If you've downloaded 
the app, go ahead and scan the QR code and then scan the image. I'll let it stay for a while. But while I'm explaining this to you, I just want to give you a little background of how this was created. Again, like I said earlier, each student just drew on a piece of paper. We scanned their artwork and we imported the image of the artwork into a uh, keynote, which is an equivalent to PowerPoint. They drew on top of their images and we rendered each of those image as a, we rendered the animation. So we're actually animating through Keynote. Hopefully you have the app. You can now scan them and experience the artwork come to life. How did you find that experience? I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very simple way of incorporating augmented reality into art. But we're not going to end there. I'm not going to show you how we can create this augmented reality experience through the iJack Creator. Now, iJack is a program that helps you create the augmented reality experience on top of your images. And it's very simple. All you can do is download the iJack Creator app on your desktop or your computer. So it does not work on an iPad or it doesn't work on a tablet or a mobile device. You definitely need to download iJack Creator onto a computer. So the first thing to do is to go to their website, which is ijackapp.com. And on the menu, you will find Creator. Click on that. It'll take you to the page where you can download the program. Once you've downloaded the program, okay, open the program, and then you will need to sign in by creating an account. If you are already an iJack user, you might already have an account, so you could just use that specific account. Now, iJack Creator has different plans. It used to not, it used to be free, to be honest. But right now, they have a free plan that allows you to upload up to a hundred artworks. Now, let's make our very own AR experience. Okay, so the first thing you need is your trigger image, which will be a picture, something that you either drew or an image that you found online. Or it could be actually a picture of yourself or people, things. It doesn't matter. It's just, you just need an image that is saved in a JPEG or PNG file format. The second thing you will need is a GIF. GIF. It could be an animation, but you need to save them on your computer as well. The third thing you need, and this is optional, would be your audio. Now, it could be an audio that you recorded or something you downloaded that will enhance your AR experience. Okay. Now that I have all the assets ready, you can see here all the assets are ready. You can simply click on create a new artwork. First step is to drag in the image. And you will know that it is not in the right format because it will prompt and it'll tell you that you need to export it in the correct format. Sometimes changing the address or the, the format link at the end from caps to small letters works sometimes, but it doesn't happen all the time. 
If not, you have to find a way to re-export them into the correct format. After dropping in the artwork, click on Next and drag in the animation. It can be a GIF or a PNG sequence. If you are a Canva user, you can actually render GIFs and PNG sequences from Canva plugin. Okay. From the animation step, you can also add your sound. So I'm going to add my sound. Okay, great. So now that I have all my assets in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label my trigger image. Okay, then I will create this. I will create this and it will render a QR code. So why will it render a QR code? Just like what we saw earlier with the pictures that we posted or that I showed you, we need to scan the QR code first so that it will load into iJack, the app, and it'll identify the overlay of the trigger image. Okay, just a piece of advice. If you are rendering a lot of images um, and you need to make a library of all of these things, I would suggest that you name each GIF, each animation, each trigger image, and each QR code, save them under the same name so you will not interchange them later on because it will be very difficult to identify which QR code belongs to a specific trigger image. Again, that's so important. We can now test it by going on to our, going back to our mobile device and opening iJack again. And then we go now to this. So I have here the QR code, which I'm scanning. And now I go to my image. So I'll put the image and the code on the screen so you can try it out for yourself. So iJack recently rolled out a new feature called Panels. And this is very helpful for educators because now you can create an information board alongside an animation. So I'm going to go on the website. You can check this out for yourself, but um, let's do it together as well. You can simply go on to their website and view panels. So, okay. So right now, this is an example of what panels is like in real time. So you can, you can scan the code from wherever you are and see their example of a humpback whale. And it gives the information and the sound. But we're going to experience it right now. Let's, so let's jump into iJack and scan their code which will now ask me to check launch ar okay so now you get to see the whale and hear the whale so that's the sound now panels is a feature where you can add now AR panels and also use them as information boards. So we have here the parts of the whale. We have the migration map. We have on top there the audio recording of the sound that they make, which we never get to hear. And then we have also the introduction information about the whale. So this is, this might be something that you're looking for and go ahead and try to tinker around on iJack Creator and see how you can create your own panel boards as well. There are very many other AR applications and one that might suit you best. If you are an iPad user, check out Reality Composer. It is an AR app that will allow you to create an interactive AR playground by creating and bringing in different assets that you can find online or even something that you can create yourself.
hope that by the end of this webinar workshop, you will download some of these apps, explore them, and be as excited as I am about augmented reality. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. God bless you, and I'll see you at the Q&A.